So for this video, Strymon sent me this pedal. There was no money exchanging hands. I'm sending it back so I don't get to keep it. This is purely just for review. This is my unfiltered opinion. They had no say in the video, so I hope you guys can sit back and enjoy. Also for your added listening pleasure, I included the raw wave files and the link in the description below so you can download and hear how it sounds without any type of YouTube compression. So you can hear the guitar and the synth and the piano all without the YouTube compression. I hope you guys enjoy that. So a quick overview of the features of this pedal. We've got MIDI, J-foot input, true or buffer bypass you choose, stereo, input, or mono. It's a line level at the ARM processor. For the MIDI, you have up to 300 MIDI presets available to you. Um, you can sync via MIDI clock, and it can be saved for each preset, which is pretty cool. Um, and the MIDI's through the USB or the mini MIDI jack. So that's pretty cool to have the flexibility. Um, you can control any parameter, any knob on the pedal. You have the JFET input, which is an ultra low noise, 24 bit depth with 96 kilohertz, analog to digital, digital to analog conversion. And then you've got the true or buffer bypass, so you can choose if you want it to be completely untouched or buffered. Uh, it has the ability to do stereo input. So you need to use a stereo cable, but it has stereo input available, which is how I got my um, organ piano Nord stage to go through stereo, which is really cool, really clutch. Didn't know I could do that. It's line level, so it's got added headroom. Uh, works well with keyboards as well, so that's really cool. So a lot of flexibility here, synthesizers, keyboards, guitar, the whole nine, so really awesome. So this is important because right now I have it through my keyboard, which is in stereo. So it's got stereo input via the stereo jack. So it's a single input jack, so this is really important to note. It's a single input jack, but it can take stereo. So I've got it running from my headphone out, which is a you know, stereo signal, into the stereo input via a stereo jack and running out stereo left and right to my interface, I'm able to get the stereo sound. Very, very happy about that. Um, so it's got stereo input. Um, or model, obviously, depending. Uh, line level instrument, and it's got a cool processor in there. Uh, so that's just it from a glance. Okay, so apart from its features, it is really, really well built. I love the build quality. I think this is some type of aluminum chassis. Um, it's metal, it's sturdy, feels great to the touch, feel, always feels premium as all Strymon pedals do. The knobs are very smooth with enough tension that it doesn't feel slippery and um, cheap, if that makes sense. Um, switches are obviously high quality, input jacks are done well, so overall build quality is 10 out of 10. Not surprised, Strymon always does premium builds. Next, let's take a look at the knobs. Pretty self-explanatory, it's a rotary. So we have speed, mic distance, the horn level, preamp drive, drive, volume, and then the ramp for the speed, how fast you want it to go from slow to fast. Now, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the settings I use for this track. Um, I use my custom preset on my Nord and I use it with an organ sound because of course rotaries and organs go really great. Um, so here's the raw sound. Now here's with it on slow. Now you should already be able to hear it's a nice subtle swirl. So see that? So it's flat when it's off, and then when it's on, you can hear that swirl. Okay, and let's go speed it up. So, already, nice sound. So we have the speed. That obviously changes the speed of the rotary. We have the mic distance, which I'm actually not too sure how big the sound difference is gonna make. Hey guys, just real quickly. Originally, I didn't know what mic distance did, but I put my headphones on, did some experimentation. And as uh, this knob right here is for basically stereo width. So as you see me tweak this knob in the next clip, you're gonna hear the stereo field go from narrow to wide. So pay attention, put some headphones on or have a nice monitor setup. But as you tweak this setting, it's basically the distance of the mics, duh, uh, for, the stereo, uh, for the stereo spread. So check this out. And 
then we have the horn level, which obviously is the sound of the, the horn whirling around. So the higher we crank that, the more we're gonna hear the spinning. So a lot of you guys, when you hear uh, le le rotaries, you're used to hearing the horn. So I like to have that on the higher side. Uh, then we have the preamp drive, you want some distortion. Now I tend to like the distortion, especially on single lines. So I tend to love it on an, um, on like a, a road sound. So let me turn off the organ. It's so like this road sound I have here. And I like to have it on about nine o'clock when I'm doing chords. Classic sound there. And then we have the um, dry. This, if you want more or less of the dry signal. So if we have the dry signal cranked, we get more of the dry sound. If we have it turned down, we get more of the, ro uh, the rotary. You see that? So you can blend in however you like. So you can start with 50%. nice I like that um, and then of course you have the volume that's just the overall volume of the pedal this isn't going out so those are the knobs in a nutshell so I want to try with a couple different sounds so we did the organ rose patch but let's try some conventional ones like piano some synth so here is a mellow piano patch uh, let's go different key let's turn it on Thank you. 
That's really cool. That's very different, very unique. I like that. And I can do some preamp drive on there. Let's try that with the track. That's cool. Um, let's try a different patch. Let's see here. Here's the roads. I like that. That's cool. That's nice. So this thing is cool. It's flexible. And what's great about it is the Nord has a built-in Leslie SIM, but that's only for the organ, whereas this thing I can use for anything. And what's nice about it is the Nord has separate output, so I can output this through my, um, I've got a separate output. So I got four outputs on my Nord, so I can actually put this on the organ patch alone, or just I can put this on uh, output channels three and four and route whatever I want to it, so synth and whatnot, so I can have it separate from what's going on in board. But, so we had a chance to check out the build quality, how it sounds, as well as walk through the interface and the knobs and what they do. And you've had a chance to hear how it sounds, uh, my settings for the organ and roads. Now let's go ahead and take a listen to it through guitar. <laughs> So what are my final thoughts on this pedal? 
So I'll give it to you two ways, one from a piano perspective and one from a guitar perspective. Um, overall, the pedal itself is great. Excellent build quality. I like the knobs and the functionality. Uh, I think it has all the important knobs that you need without being overly complicated. In particular, I like the dry knob a lot because it really allows you to hone in how much rotary you want because some pedals um, don't have that ability and you can't really get a good like rotary sound either it's too much or too little. So I love the drive knob and the horn level because you can really get that, that whirl that you want or if you want a more subtle effect, you can back off. So kudos there, great interface, great UI, sound is great. I do like how it blended with the piano and the synth and the organ and the Rhodes. Uh, most of my experience with rotary pedals are for guitar, obviously, but having tried it with the Nord Stage 3, I really liked the sounds I was getting out of it. I felt like I had good control over how much rotary I want in and out without diluting the main sound. So kudos to Strymon on that. Throw in the fact that it's got MIDI uh, capabilities through USB and through the MIDI jacks, and the fact that you can control all the, uh, all the parameters on the fly through MIDI and even do MIDI clock sync safe per preset. This pedal is extremely versatile especially since the fact that it's all speed driven. So having that MIDI cl uh, clock sync is really great when you're trying to program it. So all in all, if you're looking for a rotary pedal, this is definitely a viable option. I haven't reviewed any other rotary pedals, so I can't say if it's better than one or the other. This is just my honest feedback. Striming was great enough to send this to me. I didn't get paid. This is my honest opinion, um, and I'm returning this back. So I'm not even keeping this. This is strictly just a demo. I really like the pedal. I like the build quality and um, I liked how it blended in, especially on the synth side. So whether you're a synth player, keyboard player, or guitar player, this pedal works and it works well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget that I included the raw waves on the link description below. That way you can hear what this stuff sounds like without any YouTube compression. Make sure to comment below on how you think this pedal sounds. I'd love to know your thoughts and your own feedback and let me know which pedal next you'd want me to demo. I'll catch you guys in the next video.